Okay, one question that keeps getting submitted in our Ask Me Anything series is, what is my learning, growth, and personal development plan and process? I know that this answer is already circulating out there on the intro webs somewhere, but let me break it down for you right here on Darren Daily. You ready? Alrighty then. First off, my learning is divided into two separate buckets, JIC and JIT, just in case and just in time. Just in case is general reading, listening, and watching. These are the podcasts that I frequent, blogs that I read, all things that I'm coming across on a day-over-day -day basis as I traverse the vast expanse of knowledge and human ingenuity. I do see it as my job to absorb, digest, and curate it all for you. I've been doing that now for over 25 years. Now, mind you, it is all from very selective input sources, only content that will help me with my mission to positively influence influencers. Now, JIC, just in case, content. That's where Darren Daly fits. Darren Daly is like a box of fine chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get, but you can always be assured it's gonna be delish. You can bet your bottom dollar, as my grandmother loved to say. Okay, that's just in case. Now let's go to just in time. And this is where my calculated personal growth and development plan comes in. So this is my 1135130035 plan. <laughs> Don't get bunched up, it's simpler than it sounds. Here's how it breaks down. The first one is to identify your number one goal right now for this year. The next one is to identify the number one skill that is most important to achieving that number one goal. Are you with me so far? We are designing a growth plan that is a fit for purpose. The number one skill needed to achieve your number one goal. I focus only on one skill development plan per quarter, period. Focus, baby, focus. Or as my Polish friend likes to say it, fuck us, baby, fuck us. Now the five, identify the best five books focused on that number one skill to achieve that number one goal. Don't know which books to get? Well, either A, ask the most successful people that you know in that skill category, ask them what they've read, or Google it. Google is pretty smart or have Amazon tell you they know what's what, and then read the reviews. Once picked, order the five books. Don't overthink it, just order them now. Now the number three, buy three audio books or subscribe to three podcasts that are focused on that skill set. Then the number one, register for one comprehensive training program or attend one masterclass or workshop that's focused on that skill set. The key is, once you have identified your number one goal and your number one skill for that goal, buy the books, the audio programs, and the training programs now. Make one decision, not nine. Now, the consumption part of the process, the 30-30 part of the 1135-130-35 plan. In the morning, I grab my cup of joe, and the first thing I do is I watch that day's Darren Daily. Yeah, every morning, I have hashtag never missed. It's always new and fresh for me that day. After that, I then set my iPhone for 30 minutes and I read one of those five books that I ordered. The average adult reads about 250 words per minute, about 60 pages per hour. So that's about 30 pages in those 30 minutes on average. Do that five days a week, that's 150 pages a week. Over a quarter, that's 1,800 pages. Those five books could be 360 pages each, and you'd easily breeze through them in a quarter. Now, the next 30 is to listen. Do this on your net time, your no extra time time. While you are walking, jogging, walking the dog, driving, traveling, etc. When your hands are busy or your body is in motion, but your mind is free, just 30 minutes per day, that equals 30 hours of listening time per quarter, way more than you need for those three audiobooks, or to mainline the entire historical thread of a podcast. Then the final five in the 11351 plan. It is my five-step study process. You ready? Write this down. Number one, study. As I am reading, listening, or attending, I am focused on applications directly related to that one skill. Number two, extract. I'm only looking for three ideas in total. It could be five 300-page books, three eight-hour audio programs, a three-day workshop, but I'm only looking for the three best ideas. That's it. Because if there are 100 ideas, there are no ideas. Number three, act. Implement one idea right now. Only one idea 
per month needs to be applied. Number four, measure. I measure the improvement each I on each idea over a period of 30 days. Number five, review. I do a plan, a do, and then a review. I do it, I review it, and then I adjust and I do it again. There you have it. That's my 11351-3035 plan. Sounds complex, but it's super simple and wildly efficient, effective, and successful. Just think if you had been working this plan since you were 20 years old. If you're only 40 right now, just a pup, let's say, that means that you would have built 80 unique skills by now, literally only spending 30 minutes reading a day, five days a week. The audio is consumed in net time, so that doesn't even cost you any extra time. 30 minutes a day, that's it, to build the essential skills responsible for achieving your biggest goals in life. Only 20 years of this equals more than 575 books and 2,400 hours of audio training and 80 workshop or training programs or masterclasses. Well, no time like the present. Get on the 11351-3035 plan right now. If you're in, write hashtag I'm in in the comments below. And I hope that helped you. Let me know that too, also in the comments below.